and welcome to Cameron Metters Art. Today we're going to be making a coffee table. Let's get into it. So on Facebook Market I bought a piece of glass initially with the intention initially with the intention of turning it into a mirror but it wound up being way too heavy and too big so i think i'm going to repurpose it and make a stand to put this glass on top of so the first thing i'm going to be doing is taking measurements to figure out how long i need the pieces of wood on the base to be i can't find my tape measure but it's no problem i'm just going to take this piece of wood and lay it out and make a mark easy enough uh, I measured out 25 inches, which is going to be the long side. I'm going to make these cuts on an angle, so I'm going to put my measurements on the very corner of the wood, so I can make that my long side. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and turn my wood and use the same end for the next piece and just do a flat cut. Now that we have all our six pieces of wood cut for the top and the base, we're gonna go ahead and sand and stain them. And I'm going to be using 180 grit for no specific reason, just because it's what I have. I'm laying a towel down because I don't want this table to leave marks on the wood as I'm pushing down on it. So it's a little protection. A few moments later. Now that we have our wood cut, sanded, and wiped down, I'm going to be making some pocket holes in my wood, which keeps the screws from being seen when I screw all the pieces together. we have our pocket holes made on the opposite side. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stain the tops so they can be drying while I sand the pieces that are gonna hold it up. All right, so here's the stain that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna apply it onto the wood with a foam brush. Just try and keep nice even strokes and even distribution over the wood. After I put it on, I'm just gonna let it sit for a little while and soak in. And then I'm going to use an old, broken, tattered wife beater to wipe it all off. And I'm probably going to do one or two coats just to make the wood a little darker. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. I went ahead and cut the wood legs off camera and stained them and then I'm gonna go ahead and set them in the sun so they can just kind of cook a little bit and dry off before I start uh, screwing them all together. Now that our stain is dry we're gonna go ahead and screw these bad boys together.
So I went ahead and screwed the legs on to the two, uh, the base and the top. And here it is. Here's just a shot of it without the clear top. Thank y'all again for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And you guys have a great day. Thanks.